next guest takes on Kelly D'Angelo coming up here at Invicta FC 31 on September 1st. It is Lindsay Van Zant joining me here on the program for the very first time. Lindsay, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well. It's good to talk to you. Now, where am I getting you today? I see you're on like the, a porch or something like that. Where am I getting you right now? I am actually, I was just at the gym, so I'm at Kings of Fitness. Oh, great. Okay. And they live have location. A, nice. Yeah, they have like a little bench area in front of, there's like a beer brewery place right next to it, and they have like a bench, so I was like, ah, oh, it's a good spot. <laughs> no, it's a great spot, good lighting. I can't complain with that. Um, where did this journey for you uh, begin? How did you get involved in combat sports? Um, I started Taekwondo when I was seven. And I uh, got bored with it. I became a second duty black belt. And then um, a jiu-jitsu place opened down the road. So I started there. And then I fell in love with that. And then that gym ended up adding Muay Thai and boxing. I just loved it all. And then I had my first fight, my first Muay Thai fight when I was 18. And I was like, this is what I want to do. <laughs> like, yeah. I just it was knew just it. one of right those like, instant that. feelings. You're like, yeah, I have to do yes. this. Like, right after that fight was done, I was like, oh, my God, that was awesome. Like, it was just like a it's a different feeling. <laughs> now, now, were you watching MMA during this time, or did that come after? Like, when when did you become a fan of the sport? Yeah, yeah, I was watching it before then. Um, my, I actually played softball when I was like around eight. I think my coach, that was like an assistant coach, he was, worked at a copy place, but he was really into the UFC, and he copied like UFC one, the UFC ninety eight for me. So I have all those DVDs. So if anybody ever needs to see like the old UFCs, I got. <laughs> okay, you got it covered. Oh, that's that's great. Getting to watch yeah. uh, all the all the classics there. Uh, now, along yeah. with fighting, uh, what else do you do for a living? What pays the bills for you right now? Ah, uh, well, I had a lot of life changes recently. I was working at a gas station, which I got really good hours at. I'd work like four in the morning to twelve. I would take a nap, train, and then go and train at night and stuff. But I was actually supposed to move to Florida, so I quit that job. But when I decided not to move anymore, I. Uh, I got like all these things started happening and then I got the fight and I was like, you know, I'm going to wait until after this fight to get a job because I wanted to focus because it's like a big opportunity for me. So of course, yeah, we'll good see. For you. <laughs> I no, might that... try to get like a waitressing job or something, but like right now I'm going to try to make it until after the fight. <laughs> no, that's smart. I mean, this is a big opportunity here. Like, for, like I was saying off the top for Invictus. So, I mean, you can't, you can have no regrets. You're just focusing on training, right? Which exactly. is awesome. Like I don't want to have any excuses and. Yeah, exactly. Too much, you know, it's like when it's too much change, it's really stressful. So I was like, there was already so much change going on in my life. I was like, I can't add something else to that right now. Like, I'm just going to. No, that, that's great. Um, so, yes. So, you ha I, like I noticed on your record, you haven't fought since October. Was that just because of the move and everything? Or was there another reason you just had difficulty getting fights? What's sort of the reason uh, for the I layout? broke my hand. In my oh, last interesting. Time. Okay. I mean, not interesting. Yeah, yeah. That sucks, obviously. But, it's a uh, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, well, because, but yeah. Yeah. It wasn't bad. I mean, it was a, it, it was a big life experience for me. Like I learned a lot from it. So, you know, it makes you more mentally tough when you have an injury like that. And uh, so, yeah, I was out for a while for that. I would say I was back and ready to go back in the cage around May, June. But then since I was going to move, it was kind of like, all right, well, I don't know what's going to go on. And then, yeah, so everything kind of fell into place. And now we're here and ready to fight for September. So how, how long did the injury keep you up for? Like, how serious was it? Um. Uh, I had two surgeries on, surgeries on my hand. I broke the um, first metal carpal bone. So I had to go in surgery for that. They just stuck a pin through it. And so that pin was in for a month. When I took the pin out, you know, I can't hit anything for a while. So I had to wait for the bone to heal. And I waited a couple, I think I waited more like a month and a half, like after the doctor said I can go back and hit stuff because I wanted to make sure that, because like everybody I talked to said that they re-broke their hand. And I was like, I don't want this to happen again. So I like waited even extra time to punch stuff because I didn't want to risk like making it weak. I wanted to be like fully strong. And, and it was a great move, a great idea because I haven't felt it at all. So I feel 100%. So. Good, to, good to hear. I like hearing that stuff. Uh, how did this come together with you fighting for Invicta? This is a big deal getting to fight for them just four fights in your career. Yeah. Uh, well, I just signed with uh, my management team. So Prime Elite Management, they're awesome. And literally I signed with them and then they whipped out the Invicta contest and I was like, this is a good move. <laughs> Great. Okay. Like, That's bam, awesome. bam. So yeah, they, they got me right in now. So awesome. <laughs> Let's talk about your opponent, Kelly D'Angelo. She's got that two and two record. How do you feel like you match up against her? I'm excited. I think it's a great matchup. I mean, obviously both of us are going to come in guns a blazing because she's coming off losses and I haven't fought in it's going to be like almost a year so. Like, we're both going to be ready to go. So that's going to be exciting. <laughs> and uh, we mentioned off the top, uh, you're live on location at your gym. Uh, who are some of the, the training partners you get to work with that are helping you get ready for this fight? Um, I work, I, uh, this is my fitness, my strength and conditioning gym. Oh, right, okay. So, yeah. by. so they're all getting me ready. Like, I feel so strong. It's great. They have a lot of different ways of keeping me going, keeping my body moving the way it's supposed to and stuff. So I love them. 
Um, but yeah, I, I train at Precision in Poughkeepsie. Uh, it's probably like 20 minutes from here. But um, yeah, I have a couple of training partners there that get me going. I also train at Stockade, which is in Kingston. That's like 40 minutes to me. And I go to Miller Brothers in New Jersey and try to travel a lot, get different faces. You know, because like there's not a lot of small people. So like when you go to multiple different gyms, you get more small people, you know, so. <laughs> Great. No, it's it's good yeah. to get different looks, and then you get that variety exactly. in your training, right? Which is awesome. Okay. Yeah, you gotta change it up because otherwise you'll just plateau. So I'm I've been trying to change it up a lot and learn. You always gotta keep on it. Once you stop learning, you gotta start moving around and stuff. So. I agree. I like that. Yeah. Um, how how about the weight cut? How's that going? I mean, this is a couple of weeks away, but I imagine that process has already started. I'm good with my weight cuts. I'm I'm pretty. I'm a smaller 105. I walk around at like one. Right now, I'm like I've, I've been even light on the usual too. I'm like 111 right now. So oh wow! Oh great! My okay. weight cuts really easy. I just it's all water weight basically. I mean, I eat really good all year round and even extra good obviously around like this time. But yeah, no, my I'm actually like sometimes I'm like losing too much water weight that I'm like I need to eat some more cookies. Like, <laughs> so, like the other day I had cookies because so I was like I need to like keep my weight up. Like <laughs> this is ridiculous. So yeah, no, my weight cut's easy, um, which is a blessing. So I, I, I don't like weight. Like, nobody likes weight cutting, and I just don't. I'm a nutrition major, so like I'm just like I can't. Oh, then I, you're you're like an expert at that. That's great. Yeah, yeah. So like my weight cuts are easy, and I eat good, so nothing to worry about there. That's awesome. Uh, who's <laughs> gonna be in your corner for this fight? Uh, my main jujitsu coach, uh, Brian McLaughlin. He is the owner of Precision in Poughkeepsie, and then we're trying to figure out my other corner man as well because we have to figure out like flights and stuff with that still but i'm trying to get my uh muay thai coach carl nemeth to come and then my uh, manager's coming so i'm allowed to be corner people so he'll probably be in there that's good always nice having a good crew up for that um how do you see this fight playing out in the first i mean you're gonna get the win otherwise you wouldn't have taken the fight but how do you see it unfolding um i mean i, I would take hard fights either way because i like to test myself but yeah no I, I definitely feel like i'm gonna win this fight um I don't know, I've been asking people like what the predictions are. I mean, I'm, I'm excited. I'm pretty well-rounded, so I feel comfortable standing or going into the ground. I feel like she thinks I'm probably going to go to the ground. So, you know, we'll see what happens. And when I get in there, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll I'm take the fight where I feel like I need to take it, you know? So, we'll okay. see. That's awesome. Um, so, you know, let's say you go out there, you come out unscathed. Are you looking to fight relatively soon? Do you want to keep the momentum going? Or oh, do you just yeah. want to take it fight by fight? Okay, gotcha. Definitely. If I have no injuries and I'm feeling good, yeah, I'm ready to get right back in there. Because that's one of the good things with Invicta. Like, they'll let you fight for other promotions. It's not like you have to stay yeah. with them. Like, they, they do a lot with LFA as well. Like, some of their fighters fight for both. So, there, there's yeah. lots of opportunity here uh, from this fight. Yeah, they're cool with that. So, that's awesome. Yeah. Excellent. No, um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I've been out for too long. I got to get back in <laughs> I'm like uh, one of those fighters that would fight as much as I can. <laughs> right, right. No, no, of course. That definitely makes sense. Um, I got to ask just because of the last name. Do, do people ever, uh, you know, ask you about Paige Van Zandt at all just because you guys have the last name? I'm sure you're like so fed up of talking about it. But uh, what, oh, uh, no, you know, do, do you have like, do, do people actually reach out to you about it? Or like, what is, you know, is, is there anything? Um, random it's, like, people will ask me. Not a lot. But like, they'll be like, oh, you related a page. And I'm like, no. <laughs> but it's just cool. So I don't care. Like, hey, I'm cool with it. Not a bottle. <laughs> what about downtime? I, I know you're busy training and everything, but are you watching any Netflix or playing any video games, anything like that? Like, what would I find you doing when you're trying to unwind and take it easy? Um, I'm a Netflix girl, yeah. Okay. Um, wow, the sun's getting bad. Sorry, can you see me? No worries. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I watch Netflix. I watch a lot of Marvel series. You know, I just finished uh, Luke Cage. Oh, great. What did you ago. think? Some people, they had mixed reviews on it. What did you think? What? I love it. Okay. I have no complaints. <laughs> Okay. I watched Jessica Jones too. I love Paul. So, you know, I watch all the, you know, Daredevil, all that. I got to get Hulu next. I got to catch up with a couple other shows. Yeah, Hulu's better for, like, TV shows, I find. Like, they have, like, and they have, like, yeah. really good old, old TV shows as well. Like, they have, like, Seinfeld on, which is, like, great. Because, I don't know, Seinfeld's one of those shows where, like, I can go back and watch it whenever. And watch so. it, and it's so funny, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, so I think I might have to invest in Hulu to get the rest of the Marvel series that I haven't watched yet. So, okay. Like, because Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s on there, which I caught up with, but. Yeah, I have to figure that out. <laughs> For sure. And we certainly got to watch a UFC Fight Pass on September 1st. It's Invicta FC 31. This is going to be a great fight. Uh, Lindsay, I want to thank you so much for taking the time. It was uh, great getting a chance to talk to you. Just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you have any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours. Uh, yes, uh, it's Damsel MMA. I actually just put my t-shirt up. So if you want to represent, I got some nice There you go. Like, That's yeah, smart. I got t-shirts. I got sweatshirts. So I'll be, I'll be like posting about that. And the uh, link is underneath in my bio. Um, I want to thank my management team, Prime Elite Management, and they also have Prime Athletics. They have a lot of different companies underneath them. Uh, they're awesome. I cannot be, like, more excited that I signed with them. Like, literally changed my life. So, as I said, I want to thank uh, Kings of Fitness. Woo-woo. They are 
amazing. If anybody is in a local, like the KFC Wapentons area and are athletes and they want to get stronger, definitely go to Kings of Fitness because they are awesome. 